myth that's floating around right now in our industry that's saying you have to be certified in order to help people. There's a myth that's going around that says, listen, if you don't have all of these accolades, if you don't have these certifications, these certificates, if you don't, if you don't come from that, you can't help people. And that's the biggest lie that we're being told in our industry right now, because our industry is not regulated. Our industry, if you believe that, then you're allowing yourself to say, if I'm not part of a certification program, then I can't help people, I can't coach people, I can't serve people because I don't have this piece of paper. This industry is not like college. This industry is not like being an attorney or it's not like being a doctor where it's regulated through the government and you have to go through some other third party entity in order to actually help people. In our industry, all it takes is what you have here and what you have here. And if you have it in your mind that you you have the experience, you have the expertise, you have the 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 uh, education to help people, but you also have it in your heart that this is truly what you want to do. There's been a lot of people I've turned down because they didn't have the heart. But if you truly have the heart, that's all you need to get started. You don't need a piece of paper. The core of what we do is really making sure that people get results. Because guess what? When you get people results. They give you testimonials and then the testimonials is what's going to fuel your marketing. The testimonials, oh, you give me some testimonials, oh, we're going to run some ads and we're going to give you unlimited quality leads. But you'll never get the testimonials, you'll never get the people who say positive things or good things and say they got good results from you. And by the way, there is different types of testimonials. The results driven testimonials are always going to be the best. Such and such is a nice person, Such I learned so much from such and such. All of that is good, I'm being real. The best testimonials are going to be from people who got results from what you helped them with. And they're going to, and they can tell you what type of results that they got. And for some of our folks who, if you're trying to get like higher ticket clients, because I know we got some folks inside of this group who maybe you're selling programs that's five grand a month. Uh, I mean, five grand, seven, you know, seven grand, 10 grand, 15 grand, right? And I know for a fact, because I've spoken to a lot of us in here, to get those type of clients and get the type of people that can afford those prices, there's plenty of people that can afford the price. Plenty of people go for five grand. Plenty of people go for 10 grand, 15 grand. That's not, that's not an issue. The issue is not finding the people. The issue is going to be, are they going to see value in what you have? The issue is going to be if are they going to see that your program can actually help them get to the next level in their life, overcome their trauma or get into that career, get into that business, make X amount of money, get have X amount of happiness or so whatever, like whatever your thing is, right? Health, fitness. The, the question is, are they going to see it as valuable? And you'll never get to the point where they're going to see it as valuable if they don't already see the value that you've given other people. Does that make sense? The biggest the biggest results that you're gonna get for people is going to be based on the results you've already gotten for other people. And that's really the number one way, and this is like a secret already, we didn't even jump into like strategies, but just a secret, and this is for more, I guess it's more like a marketing secret, the secret to really making big ticket sales is testimonials. Like if you have testimonials from somebody else that you've helped, especially if it's a similar profile, to the moon. That 10 grand a month that you've been wanting to make, you could get one sale or two sales and have your 10 grand per month. The reason a lot of coaches don't already do that or they're not already making that type of money is because they don't have any testimonials that would be more influential and persuasive to the people that would pay that type of money okay so let's look at the testimonials well why don't they have any testimonials because they're not coaching because they don't have good coaching practices they don't have a good coaching system they don't know how to help people get results so they can't get the testimonials to make the money so you got to get the testimonials to be able to make the big ticket money is that does that make sense if that makes sense go ahead and put make sense below Go ahead and put make sense below. So what I want to show you is how do you get the testimonials? Maybe that's what I should have named this to. I might I might do another training. I might rename this to how to get testimonials, right? 
but I'm showing you from a coaching process how to do it so you can help people get results, so you get the testimonials, you can make the money. That's really what the root of the problem is. I get the, I get far too many people who say, yo, Coach T, like, I want to get clients, I want to get clients, I want to make money, I want to make money. And I'm like, great. But then if I ask them, okay, do you have any testimonials, especially if it's high ticket, like, do you have any testimonials? They say no. I'm like, damn, it's going to hurt you. It's not impossible. But it hurts you when you don't have the testimonials. So, um, so let's talk about today. How do you get people results so you can get those testimonials, right? And I see y'all in the building. Mayans in the building. Good. Perry's in the building. Good to see y'all. Like we in here. We lit. We lit. I got my screens right here, looking at y'all, and uh, we making some things shake today. So, um, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go over that. Then I'm gonna give you some resources so you can get some help if y'all want some additional help. And then we're gonna go and we're gonna and uh, I'm gonna open up the. The, the call for some or, or the training for some uh, for a couple questions and answers and then we'll we'll move forward from there all right so y'all excited go ahead and put excited below so um so that's the idea behind why you actually want to do it now let's look at let's look at some let's look at some core strategies on actually getting people results right we've already talked about why you don't need a certification oh so let me talk about why people do get certifications right so so you know right so why people actually get certifications is one training. You we have a certification program, so I'm not against it. We have one, right? So if you go, if you work with me, I'll put I'm putting you through a process that if, once you make it through the end of the process, you will you will be a certified coach. Now, however, in a light of transparency, you don't necessarily need to be certified. Like I didn't have to make it a certification program. I could have just had a program, and you know, and you could get the results, but. The reason the reason a certification could be good is because of credibility, right? Sometimes people hear that, oh, I'm certified. So, oh, you're certified, okay. So you have you have credibility. So that's one. Um, one is training. The reason we do certifications is because we want to make sure we want you to know in the world to know that we've put you through a process that anybody just can't create. Like we have a very dedicated specific system any of my clients to tell you we have a specific step-by-step -step system and process that we want you to follow in order to help you get results right and if you stick to that process and that system you will get results and you will be great at coaching people right so like you know today i'm kind of giving you an appetizer of it but we have in our program we, we break all this down so um so so people will do it um for that but really i mean outside of the credibility and outside of the training i mean you don't it's, it's, it's not mandatory. When I started off, I didn't start off with certification. I have certifications now, but I didn't have it when I started. And to be honest, the reason I, I the only reason I claim it, if you look at my social media, you don't really, I don't really have any like claiming it like that. Um, what you can, and there's nothing wrong with it, but I did it because I wanted to see what everybody else's program looked like before I said I had the best. If I'm gonna say I got the best coaching program, then I want to make sure that every I want to make sure that I've taken everybody's and I, trust me I went through everybody's program that's worth going through to really figure out all right I know where the gaps are at and I know what we do better right so let's focus on so today I'm going to give you some tips that's really going to help you be a great coach and this is coming from experience this is more like a fireside chat but I'm gonna open up. I'm gonna open up the call just to kind of really help you out and, uh, and let you ask some questions as well. All right, so let's go through it. And everybody, put this in the chat as I'm going through. As folks who are watching this afterwards or potentially watching a replay can get can get value from this as well. Or scrolling through our group, they can get value from this as well. All right, so the very first thing when I'm thinking about like helping people. So let's just say I got a client, and by the way, this will also work with people who have not paid you. So if you wanted to help people for free or low cost, you can. The only challenge is, and I'm going to get to number one in a second. The only challenge is if you don't charge them, they may not take it seriously. And actually, let's make that number one. Number one is I want you to charge your clients. Um, charge your clients a... I'm just going to say charge your clients. Let's say that. Charge your clients. Charge your clients. And I'm going to say that. Everybody put that in the chat. And, uh, and, uh, and the reason I, I turn, I'm turning this one into actually, and actually number one is because a large, a large part of people getting results is actually the investment that they make. You know what's interesting? I used to think that if I gave people things for free or if I made it very cheap, 
I would be actually, I would be helping people. I'm like, oh my God, they can't afford it. You know, we're in this, you know, we're in a recession. We're in, we're in you know, right? It always seems like it's a recession all the time. It's always, it was a recession when I started. It's always a recession, it feels like, right? But, you know, I, particular rem, I particularly remember not really wanting to charge people because I felt like I was helping them. I'm like, man, I can help them for free. Or I can help them for low cost and they're going to be great. And they're going to get all of this knowledge. They're going to get all of this wisdom and they're going to go out into the world and they're going to be great. What do you think happened? <laughs> what do you think happened? When I really started helping out people for free or really not charging them anything, they didn't show up on time. Many of them never showed up. Many of them uh, never took the advice seriously, meaning they never implemented the advice. Half the people wasn't even taking notes when I was training them or, and or coaching them. Um, those are the people who, who gave me the, the most um, issues when it comes to payments. So I'm gonna tell you right now, if you charge it, if you like, oh, I'm just gonna charge people $50, $100, just charge people a couple hundred dollars to coach, you better hope you got a good client because one of the things that is going to happen is they're going to default on payments more. You know, so crazy. My highest paying clients, they show up on time. They don't default on payments. They, they pay attention. They listen closely. They implement everything you tell them to implement like they are your best clients. You would think you would think that, oh, they pay, they're paying this money and, you know, oh, they got they got they got all of this money. They're paying this money. They're busy, you know, but it's actually the opposite. I would think that the person that's broke, that could barely afford the program, I would think that that person has nothing to lose. So they're they're gonna they're gonna try the hardest, but that's not how that's not how the world works. It works the exact opposite. The people who pay the most pay the most attention, and the people who pay the least don't pay attention at all. <laughs>